Hi folks, welcome back to my channel, The Gravel Road. It's all about cycling and the variety of things that go with it. It's October, so that can only mean one thing. Red Bull time lapse is coming up at the end of the month on the weekend the clocks go back from the 30th to the 31st. And I'm um, signed up again. This time I'm going to be going for the solo category and also the outdoor category, so solo outdoor category. Um, I did this last year, but they didn't have a solo category or an outdoor category, um, so I did it as part of a team. But I did go for a sort of solo effort, which they called the MVP, the most valuable player. Um, but yes, yeah, so this year it's an actual solo category, so I'm just entered myself, um, and I'm going to be aiming to do the most amount of miles outdoors between 1 p.m. on Saturday the 30th and 1 p.m on Sunday the 31st. During that period, the clocks will go back. So at 2 p.m. the clocks go back, to, sorry, 2 a.m. 2 a. the clocks go back to 1 a.m. So you get an extra hour. So it's actually a 25 hour endurance race. But also in that hour, any miles you do in that hour are doubled. So your total mileage is effectively equivalent to like a 26 mile hour bike ride. I've recently uploaded um, a bunch of videos I did last year that I never got around to uploading. Um, so that talk, that, those videos are a bit about the preparation I did leading up to the event. I never actually did anything during the event. I was obviously busy on the bike, but I've got some photos and things like that. And I've also got the Strava data, which I'll share in a separate video. Uh, and I'll do a bit of a recap in another video as well. But this video is purely just about sort of putting it out there that this year I'm going to be doing the, the Red Bull time lapse again. And I'm going to be going for those categories. It's actually the 23rd today, is that right? Yes, yeah, 23rd today. So I've got about a week to prepare really for the actual event. I've been doing a lot of riding uh, throughout the year, a lot of endurance work, not specifically for this, but just, just generally I quite like the endurance side of things. So I've effectively been training for this most of the year. Um, been a bit slack last few weeks, just with work and things, you know, such as life. Unfortunately, I'm not a full-time cyclist, so you have to work these things around other other things in your life. But I've got the good base fitness, but this week I'm going to really focus on doing things specifically for that event that's coming up next week. So I've actually got a week off work, which is kind of handy. It's not for this. It's f to do stuff around the house. Again, that's just part of life. You've got to work these things around uh, other things that you're doing but having that week off is really going to allow me to uh, focus a bit more on on doing regular training or rides and also mo more probably more importantly dialing in things like nutrition again lately i've been been a bit bad on the nutrition side you know the dark nights have come in it's colder you know it's really easy just to sit in front of the tv and chug a bottle of wine or you know eat too many cakes or or sweets and biscuits so I'm carrying a little bit of extra weight not, nothing too major but over the course of this week I'm going to really try and uh, dial that in lose a bit of weight not nothing too drastic but mainly just get into a, a habit of eating well so that by the time I come to next week um, I'm, you know I've got plenty of energy I'm not lethargic because I've been eating too much crap um, so one of the key things I'll be doing over the next week which I do on and off most days is intermittent fasting. Um, again, I've been really all over the place with it. Some days I fast quite well, and then other days I come in, you know, 9.30 in the morning and meeting bacon rolls. So this week I'm gonna really hit the intermittent fasting uh, consistently. So probably do at least 16 hours fasting, probably a bit more every day. And then I will um, also be doing bike rides and that as well, but I'll be trying to fit them in around the fasting probably do evening rides maybe do some morning fasted rides as well but just just everything is going to be geared around getting a bit leaner making sure plenty of energy and then intermittent fasting is also really good to help um reduce inflammation and that kind of thing so that's really going to help um with the training this week and then sort of recovering for for the weekend and then during the weekend because if your body's kind of um set up to be less prone to inflammation being on the bike for 24 hours or whatever it is I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to probably end up being in a lot better shape as the hours progress. 
So as of this morning, my weight is, I think it was 11 stone 12 pounds. So we'll see where I'm at towards the end of the week and um, see how I'm feeling. I actually don't feel too bad, um, although I've been eating pretty, pretty badly, but I think probably when I get on the bike and do some longer rides, I might start to notice that I've maybe not got as much energy throughout the rides as I, as I normally do. But hopefully towards the end of the week, that'll kind of correct itself. In terms of training and bike and riding the bike this week, I'm going to try and be out every day. I'm going to try and put in some repetitive rides, it's definitely some late night rides, anti-social rides, if you like, because that's part and parcel of doing these long endurance events is you're going to be riding at times you wouldn't otherwise be riding. Fortunately, I really enjoy riding at like two, three in the morning. I find it quite good, but if it's going to be raining and windy, then yes, yeah, it's training the, 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 the mind to, to not want to just give up and go and sit in a nice warm house. So I'll be trying to ride most days, um, but I'll probably stop Thursday evening, give myself all of Friday into Saturday morning to, to recover. I'm not going to be doing high intensity, so I won't need a huge amount of time to recover. A day or day and a bit is plenty, um, but I'm definitely going to give myself that, that day off. And I'll also probably start thinking about... Um, specific feeding for the event so you know basically carb loading i guess for for want of a better term and um, but between now and then i'm going to be trying to sort of keep the carbs a bit lower and um, so obviously fuel for my rides but but try not to to go too crazy and cut out all the crap cut out the sweets and the biscuits the bourbon biscuits that's that's what kills me bourbon biscuits and jaffa cakes they're, they're going to be getting a put to the back of the cupboard for a for a week but then after come sunday i'll be probably scoffing them again but yeah, so that's the plan. For now, I just want to do a quick video about that, just explain what the plan is, and then hopefully by the time Friday, Saturday comes and I've gone through a few more of these videos, I'll have stuck to my plan. And that's part and parcel of doing this video actually, is that if I get it down on tape, I'm kind of committing myself to doing it. I did a video, uh, one of the videos I uploaded was about announcing I was gonna do Red Bull time-lapse last year, and that was partly for me just to commit to it and put it out there, put it out on LinkedIn and Facebook. So. Um, when the day come, I wasn't like, well, no one knows, I'll just give up, I just won't do it. So kind of putting that out there, I'm doing it, putting down the plan um, as it is at the moment, and I'll update in, in other videos about how the planning's going and, and things I'm thinking about doing, and particularly stuff I learned from last year, because like I say, I never did a video after the fact, but I'll, I'll do a bit of a roundup and what I've learned from the last event and also from from some other things i've been doing throughout the year which have been endurance based that's it for now folks and um, if you've got any questions or comments please put them down below and i'll do my best to answer them and if you can if you liked the video please hit the like button if you disliked it hit the dislike button it all counts and uh, if you want to keep following me um, please hit the subscribe button and i'll do my best to keep spitting out content and i'll try and tweak it as well based on some of the comments and feedbacks feedback that I'm getting down below. Take it easy folks, stay safe.